Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. We all know how necessary it is for a collector to use collection letters these days to remind the customer to make the payment within the terms initially decided. And when it comes to collection letters, D365 always stands one step ahead as it offers a simplified process for creating collection letters for different types of customers and also in processing the same. Hence, in this course, we're going to talk about how to create collection letters, how to define their sequence, and how to process those collection letters. Before we get started, let's first have a look at the basics of collection letters and why do we need them. Now, let's first understand what a collection letter really is. A collection letter is a notification sent in writing to inform a consumer about his past due payments. It is to remind the debtor of his due payment owed to a creditor. While making a collection letter, you must make sure it has the name of the creditor and his company, the name of the debt collection agency, and the full amount he's supposed to pay. This is what a collection letter looks like. Here, you can see all the information mentioned in the last slide about the past due customer. Now, let's try to understand why do we really need a collection letter? Apart from being just a reminder for the customer to make the payment, a collection letter might also include the instructions for the customer regarding how to pay the debts. In short, a collection letter is used to hasten the payment process and help the firm, keeping a steady revenue. Now that we know what a collection letter is, let's understand what is a collection letter sequence. A collection letter sequence is just a way we sort more than one collection letters in our list as per our priority. As you can see below, collection letters in a sequence may have a custom text for the letter, a specified number of days overdue before the letter gets generated, the fee amount, and the account associated with the debt. Let's take a look at this example of a collection letter sequence. Here, you could see that you could also sort the letters as per the priority you want. Here, the letters are arranged in high priority, which means the letter with a higher priority will stay above. Now that we know all about collection letters and their sequencing, let's take a look at how to process the collection letter. It is basically a two-step process. First, we generate a collection letter. Along with the letter, D365 also gives us an option to generate the invoice for the transaction. After we're done with generating, we post the collection letter. All we need is the date on which we are supposed to post the letter, and we're done. So, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you have got a brief idea of all about collection letters in D365. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos on Hayako. Thank <laughs> you.